You got bun? Yeah, not the bun. They get the whole bakery. Patty, cocoa bread, tutti fruit, plant, uh, bun and cheese. Me have Easter every day. Every day. Every day. Wow! It's not often that we hear male dancehall artists being vulnerable about love and relationships, and it's just as infrequent to hear a story about a modern day man being attacked with a sword. Not a knife or gun, a whole sword. Because he was believed to be messing with a married woman. I just see a shadow behind me, and when I turn, it was a sword man. And when I turn and I go, when I look, I see him ease up, I turn with me and in the hair. Something hit me right here, hit me neck, and I realized it's a life and death situation. I have to try to fight for my life now. After seeing this interview, I have to admit I was magnetized and hella curious about Major Macro's love life. And thankfully, he obliged me by doing an interview. He's a natural storyteller and lyrical court jester, so you could tell he was poking fun at the situation. But after the laughs settle, so too do the lessons, which is why we're gathered here today. Welcome to Beat Street Media. Tell a friend to tell two and a half friends, the neighbor, and a stray cat to subscribe for more videos about contextualized pop culture. It all started in 1989. Major Mackerel was in his early 20s and essentially at the top of his game. With a winning court just style and a number of hits under his belt, he went on tour with contemporaries like Ninja Man, Super Cat, and Professor Nuts, and was about to head to the United States when he found out his girlfriend was carrying his first child. Excited to be a father, he took her with him, but it wasn't long before he started cheating on her. As the saying goes, what's done in the dark will come to light. Someone told her, and so she started to mess around on me. Me give her bun, but she gave me patty, cocoa bread, bun and cheese, tutti frutti, plant and tart. It was Easter every day. It was like a sledgehammer in my heart. It was a major blow to the DJ who admitted that before this happened, he always believed that no one relationship or no one woman could hold him or control him. And so he found himself doing all he could to repair the union, even recording a song for her in 1994 titled Love Life. While many fans gravitated to the We Pow production, it signaled a broken-hearted man pulling out all the stops to regain tainted love. It's a begging song. I do that song with the expectation that my child's mother would hear it and come back to me, but it was all too late. She had already found happiness somewhere else. The response to the song by fans was great, but the reaction was bad for me because I was still brokenhearted for many years. I buy her roses, flowers, invite her out, offer her material stuff, try to do the things I never do for her before, but it shows some money and material things cannot buy a man or woman happiness. The experience taught him many things, one of which is his inability to function on the receiving end of infidelity, and so he hung up his Casanova shoes and stopped messing around. After that relationship, I never find myself with more than one woman at a time and I try not to play with nobody heart no more because I did not like how I felt when my own was broken. I don't wish that pain on my worst enemy. It's a message he extended to men and women everywhere to be honorable and to not play unfair games because the heart doesn't have a bone, yet it can still be broken and when it broke, it took years and years to mend so I learned not to play with nobody heart no more. I was really impressed with his openness and vulnerability as again we're used to male dancehall artists bragging about their sexual prowess and the female conflict not so much their heartbreak stories. But Major Macro said he learned the hard way that keeping things inside can truly affect the mind, body, and the soul. Most of us as artists, the songs that we write are really true stories, but we just don't call names in it. We all have broken hearts. Sis last thing about it in Dry Cry. I'm not scared to express and tell anyone. Some man just not tell them story. Shaba, super cat, all of we used to live in America, so everybody not telling them story, but I'm not scared to express my honest opinion, feelings, and experience. He stayed in the States for almost 22 years, partly pursuing the lost love, but also raising five sons. He returned to Jamaica in 2011 and is today in a loving and committed relationship. With love, sometimes you will walk on the road and you see your wife and walk past her and don't know it's your wife. I have a special someone. I have love. And I have someone that cares about me a lot. Major Macro's experiences with love and relationships highlight that we're prone to error as humans, but you can use those lessons to unlock a better you. Another lesson that we can learn is to be mindful of the situations we become involved in, because in this case, he left 
States for the States at the turn of the 90s and he was at the top of his game. He became so engrossed in the moving parts of his complex relationship that it took him away from the music scene to some degree for several years, which equated to missed opportunities, financial and otherwise, and also it taking an emotional toll on him, a spiritual toll on him, and so be mindful of the relationships that you have and how they affect other facets of your life. It also shows how you can be devastated over the death of a relationship not knowing that God may have something better in store for you and you just had to experience that heartbreak to better appreciate your future partner. What's the greatest lesson you've learned from heartbreak? Let's talk in the comments. Until next time, like and subscribe if you dig the vibe and share this video with your tribe.